So I've been working on more sound design synthesizers inside of Unreal Engine 5 using Metasounds. And I wanted to share one with you today that uh, I've made for creating noise effects, creating ambience and atmospheres, and uh, just kind of anything that'll give your uh, project a, a little mood adjusting. So this synthesizer, this noise generator, is made up of six parts. Low noise, a high noise, a hum, a rumble, a wind, and a wave. And this is all self-contained, so there are no uh, additional files needed to use this. And let me just show you how I use that in a scene real quick. Over here, I've provided 10 different examples, which are essentially just different synthesizer noise configurations. And to use them, all you have to do is drag it over, drop it into your scene. You'll see here, it just shows up in your project outliner. And just as soon as you hit play, you'll have your ambience in your project right away. And so each one of these, like I said, is self-contained and does not require any kind of crazy libraries uh, to go along with them. So it's very easy to get one you like and drag it between the projects that you want to use it in. And so, for example, if I want to use this uh, hiss version, I will just drag that in there and preview it here. What kind of controls you have over this is obviously volume of each one. And then um, what I call a noise cut or any cut will be a frequency cut. Um, so it's basically a high pass filter on on your noise source so it doesn't uh, muddy up um, everything. It's, it's basically like a way of giving you a precision knife to cut out frequencies um, to avoid getting muddy low ends and stuff like that. The other thing included is kind of tone. So you can uh, adjust essentially the intensity of whatever kind of noise source you're going for. So if it's a high wind, you want to be up in the high wind. Right? And so I guess it's worth noting that all of this can be programmatically modified to work in game. So as your game is running, if there's a storm that's happening in one part of your map, you can increase this through blueprints or C++. And that's why all of these uh, knobs or graph inputs are exposed so that you can programmatically send in data that's coming from other parts of your game to change these knobs. Each one basically has a couple of different sets of controls to kind of give it the uniqueness of uh, this theme of low noise, high noise, hum, rumble, wind, and wave. So to go through some examples. and also industrial type of sounds. This is where kind of these rumbles and the hum come into play. It's like maybe you have a machine room or a spaceship. Maybe you need some rain.
So yeah, that is uh, Sound Design Synth, our noise generator, I'm calling it Meta Atmosphere, to help you create atmospheres in your game. And uh, like I said, it comes with 10 different examples. They're all self-contained, so it's really easy to just drag each one of these files into other projects uh, without needing any kind of library and stuff. I could have cleaned up these wires, kind of, but what I wanted to provide in addition to the colors being matching to the controls, but just uh, a little bit of direction to show you kind of where uh, things are being plugged into and whatnot. So in the future though, I may just clean up these wires and make it a, make it a clean panel. I don't know. Let me know what I can do to improve it. Again, this will be on Unreal Engine Marketplace. It's for Unreal Engine 5 and you, you'll need Meta Sounds enabled to make use of this. All right, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day.